In a house on 6th Street, little Sarah did stay, where her imagination always loved to play. With a turn of a knob and a lock of a door, great horrors of her mind did rise from the floor. She looked to escape, but knew it not easy. Surely these monsters will try to seize me. Five challenges undertook to secure her freedom, but many great trials in order to defeat them. First came one four-legged beast to hunt her down, wishing to pull her low to the ground. With cunning and wit, the little Sarah split and lit the house in flames where the beast did sit. Second came two sides of endless monsters of steel, their expressions terrifyingly still, yet terrifyingly real. Through fiery asphalt, careful steps came between until little Sarah did pass the middle fiends. Third came three two-legged beasts to chase her round. Their faces wide smiles contrasted her face of frown. Though small, they threw fits full of fire and grit. Only sharp jabs did these three quit. Fourth came four moth beasts to the flame that came first. When they saw little Sarah, their expression turned to the worst. They tried to stop her sprint, but she proved difficult to slow. Fighting two different battles, they could only let her go. Fifth came the final test for the little girl in black, the demon of creation who Sarah could not attack, but instead turn herself and run, run, run away, hoping to outrun the demon who tried to make her stay. The battle was hopeless, little Sarah outmatched, and the demon of creation made hand to hand latched. But from out the dark haze landed an angel of light, who looked upon Sarah and saved her from her fright. So little Sarah left the horrors of Sixth Street, leaving with the angel as she sat in the back seat. And never again did Sarah see these demons of her mind, only coming to clarity through years of time.